Hey guys, welcome back to an all new Absolute Conflict. Today we're looking at Luna by Kiai Tech, a company we've seen before that also makes ClickBot one of my very favorite robots and unless this here is an AI companion robot, it's designed to be your day-to-day -day pet that is in a robotic form that interacts with you, plays with you, even has its built-in chat GBT, which I have to say is the very first that I've ever seen. Now they currently will have a sale on this, so if you guys wanted your very own, check out the link down below in the description and in this episode, so here we'll be unboxing this particular robot as well as a charger station and of course the games prop kit and interacting with how this robot performs. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is everything that they sent us. So they sent us the robot, they sent us a charger station, and of course they sent us the game prop kit. So let's just go ahead and just dive right into it. Let's take a look at the robot first. All right, so this here's our packaging, this here's our box. Pretty cool, kind of showcases the robot here on the front. Obviously it does talk about the main things behind it. So it's got a unique personality, almost like a pet. Uh, it's got smart perception, has a variety of different sensors, RGB camera, stuff like that. A remote assistant, so you can go ahead and control it as an RC car, which is pretty cool. And of course it has interactive games, which be looking at as well. Uh, over here just talks about all the different uh, perceptions. So it has auditory perception, 3D vision, haptic feedback. Uh, so you can go ahead and like touch it, interact with it, and stuff like that. It does have four microphones in it. So it does have a nice array microphone system built in it. So you can go ahead and call it from different areas and it'll pick up where you're saying it from. Uh, it does work via brushless DC motor and then it has a USB-C port on the rear as well as the auto charging contacts for this particular station itself. Let's open this thing up. Alright, so really cool presentation. So you do get your user manual here. So we're going to be explained how to go ahead and set this up. You do have your USB-C cable. So this here will be for charging purposes or connecting purposes if you're directly connecting it to a computer. Now let's take a look at the robot itself. All right, so this here is our little Luna. <laughs> uh, definitely very cute, the nun less to say off the bat. Um, I do love the fact that it has these unique looking rollers, almost look like roller blades. Uh, the rears are almost like a rubber gripper, uh, and I already noticed it kind of picking up dust as it is using it about, so just make sure you do keep that clean as you are using it. And anything white does tend to get dirty, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the front wheels are uh, you can actually hear the servos moving. I think the rear wheels are actually free, so the servos would be connected with the front wheel uh, in terms of the control aspect goes. Uh, you do have a nice, lovely looking LCD screen there display. So it is actually a square that's built into this nice big round screen, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you have these fun looking ears that do move. Uh, in the original models, these were actually very, very delicate and they did recommend uh, using caution with them. You do have your four microphones right up here for the array system. You have your speaker on the back. Uh, looks like we have a little charger port here as well and the power button. We have our auto charging contacts on the sides. I have a speaker on the bottom as well. And then of course you do have your touch sensor which is on the top and you have RGB camera here on the bottom. And yeah, I mean, overall, it looks like a pretty impressive machinery. I love the fact that it doesn't seem bulky in aspect, and the fact that it can go ahead and kind of fold up makes it really nice in appearance. So that is our robot in a nutshell, which we'll be turning on in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories next. This here is the Luna Luna, the power station. Uh, essentially, uh, uh, the capability for it to go ahead and charge, based on this, it does indicate that it can actually self-charge. So in other words, Luna can go ahead and find its way back to the charger station if necessary. Uh, on the back here, kind of talks about in terms of detail. So you do get a type USB-C port to go ahead and charge it, so that is how it plugs. Uh, it's got a graphic code board panel for Luna identification. Side graphic code, again, with helping Luna identify where its charger is, and then these wheel grooves, as well as a guiding structure. Now, it does indicate how the robot should be sitting. So the robot does not point forward to the sign, actually points it away. Oh, nice little graphic right there of Luna. It's like some assembly may be required. Okay, so that is now in. 
So a little hard to put it on there, so just keep that in mind, don't break the clips. Um, and then you do have your USB-C port here on the back. That's where this cable will go into and plug into the wall. And it, it's actually pretty cool. So it does have this nice looking green finish to it, as well as a dark gun metal. It's got these rubber grippers on the bottom, so when you do place it down on a platform, it won't actually it won't actually slide. Now, uh, again, the way this works is that back up into it from my understanding, so it'll be like this, and then it'll stop in position, and it'll just kind of like sit like that. So this is kind of how it's supposed to look once it's on the charging station. Now, uh, obviously, it is actually pretty cool. It definitely fits it quite well, and I think it's actually a must need if you have a Luna, uh, as it actually is a great like display piece as well. I did wish it kind of had some kind of like identifier here that said Luna or something like that on the bottom, just to kind of give it a little bit more personality. But again, it does have a very clean, professional look, so when it does kind of leave, it just looks like that. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Now, the game prop kit is essentially part of a Luna in the sense of being able to play games with Luna. So there's different games that are built into Luna, including uh, like playing with the ball and stuff like that all of which are actually in here so let's open this thing up it's like a little folder ah cool so this is Luna's game prop kit you can play many games without it but if you want to play bullfighting or fetch with Luna this kit will help you out so there's a ball and some origami so we have to go ahead and build this so that's cool and then over here is going to be inside is going to be our cape uh, for playing bullfighting with Luna. <laughs> How cool! Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and try these out in just a little bit. But um, next thing I want to do is go ahead and open up the app and turn on Luna and try this out. Alright, so our Luna is finally ready and looks really, really cool. Uh, as you can tell, it's got a very interactive personality. Uh, it's as if it's actually alive. Uh, was, oh yes, I'm actually just petting it and it actually likes it. <laughs> so, so you can see how interactive the screen is and it actually just keeps wanting to come by me, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of sit in front of the camera here so you can actually see us this way. Oh, look. What's been bothering you, buddy? So this is a chat GPT that's currently going on there. Um, not much, I just uh, am in the process of reviewing you. So I went ahead and just put them in sleep mode for now while I showcase what the app is all about. Uh, to kind of demonstrate it, this here's our main hub. So it's kind of cool. I mean, uh, you actually can see what's happening with Luna right now. So Luna is sleeping, which is what we see right here. Uh, we have a few different things. We have games. So this here's the main game mode. So you have game ball, bull fighting, laser chase, hand slap. Uh, and then if you click on assistant, you have fun racing, remote control program, grow together, and yeah, I mean, it actually has a lot of stuff, which is pretty darn cool. Now, aside that, you do have your settings, so if I click on my conflict setting here, I can go into personal settings, turn them on. All right, if I click connect Luna, there we are. So I can see the battery life, I can adjust the brightness, I can adjust the volume, um, I can do the auto recharge feature. Uh, I have facial profiles where I can go ahead and recognize me. Posture calibration, hey, <laughs> orientation calibration, uh, update the system, etc. So it's kind of nice that it does give you the full capability of controlling the robot. I'm going to set the volume just a little bit low while we go ahead and talk about this robot here. Now, aside that, you have your community posts, your GPT creations, your messages, stuff like that. So all in all, pretty cool stuff. Uh, now it shows that he is awake. I wanted to keep looking at you like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, my voice commands. So these are the different commands that you can go ahead and give it by simply talking to it. So you have different things from pet training, main interaction, games, little interaction, stuff like that, talent show. This is really cool stuff. 
Now, there's a lot beyond that. So obviously, there's programming. So you can go ahead and create your own custom program with this particular robot where you do if-then situations, logics, uh, compute, variables, uh, and then these specific actions that you just go ahead and simply drag and drop. And you can go ahead and create your own specific ones based on what you want in terms of coding goes. So this is a great way to go ahead and create coding based on just simple drag and drop method. Now I can save it and then utilize that later uh, and then just go ahead and play it. So that's actually pretty neat. Now to showcase the remote control aspect of it, I'm going to click on play. This will give me access to the robot itself as if it's an actual RC car. So you can actually hear it from the other end by simply pressing this button here. And this will give you a live readout of exactly what is happening. So you can actually see me right over there. I can control it by moving it back. I can move it forward. I can essentially kind of rotate it about based on my personal likings uh, in terms of controlling it as an RC car. Now, obviously this is a little bit difficult to drive as it's almost like a car, but it feels more like it's kind of gliding. And you can see how it kind of moves. It is very like animatronic, I would say. It does seem like as if it's a cartoon moving about. I could go ahead and move the hat up. I can have the hat move down in terms of pitch goes. I can reset the simple pitch just like that, and I can talk through it like this, hello, hello. And I can send it like that as well. Now, there's actions as well, so if I click on actions here, you can see all these preset actions that we can go through. Uh, so if I click on hello, you can see that right there. How cool is that? So this one is struggle. Whoa. This one's afraid bow. This one is scared shock. Scared move back. Excited agree. This here is excited expect. <laughs> so cool. Uh, this here is excited stamp feet. Uh, happy, shake ears. Shy. We have Link. We have Say Papa. All right, make face. <laughs> That's so crazy how quick this thing is. Bad temper. Spy. <laughs> it's like shooting. That's so cool. Uh, welcome. Uh, we have cute pose. Uh, Raise leg. Circle. We have fart. Yeah, so there's actually a lot of different uh, interactions in here and emotions and stuff like that. So it's actually really cool in terms of the RC art aspect goes that you can go ahead and control this and then you can go ahead and program different animations throughout it as you're using it. Now I can also record this video as well too so you can see it being recorded uh, which I'm right over there. Pretty cool. So I can use this as a spy. I can go ahead and move it into different rooms and then record this and then watch this video later. So pretty cool stuff in that aspect goes. Now when I exit, it tells me which mode do I want to put it in. I'm gonna put back in autopilot mode. I'm just gonna go back into there. And that was remote control. Now we have fun at racing. So it says we can go ahead and use this to create essentially a faster version of this uh, particular robot. Uh, so if you have a few more, you can go ahead and set them up and make them race. Uh, I think that's kind of where it's at uh, in terms of what that is for. And you can see more features here in terms of controlling the full aspect of the robot and the, ag the agility of it. That's so cool.
So that's kind of cool that it does give you that. Oh, I can even do a wheelie? So that it does give you the control of the full robot. Um, and you can go ahead and just pretty much move it any way you want. So that's actually neat that it does let you control it in that aspect goes. So that is fun racing. Uh, play at home. So this here is main interactions in terms of like trick boxes So these are different things that the robot can do in terms of entertainment purposes goes be it dancing or moving about or just playing games So you have uh, game ball interaction You have obstacle interaction You have Luna's intention You have gesture interaction Thumbs up Nice, it actually works. Uh, you can have Luna follow you as well. So that's also pretty cool. So Luna can follow you around the house and stuff like that. So that's kind of neat. That shows all the different trick books. Uh, these are voice commands. So you can just say simply, hello Luna, slot machine. And then I can pull this lever here. <laughs> so there's a lot of different games that you could do, um, different interactions. Um, hello Luna, play dead. <laughs> hello Luna, Jack Sparrow. Kung Fu. We can also make it into different animals. For instance, Hello Luna, duck sound. <laughs> Hello Luna, imitate a dinosaur. so cool. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of different things that you can do in here. Now to kind of show you something else here, we can look at the games. Uh, for instance, if I go to main game, I can try something like this. So this here is it's actually like uh, playing with it in terms of the game, the ball goes. So I'm gonna shake it in front of it. Oh, okay, okay. Now it's going to start moving with the ball. So you can interact with the ball. You can put it down like this and it'll actually grab the ball. <laughs> oh look, it grabbed it. So you can see how it's interacting with it. It's actually pretty cool on how it does that. Just put the ball over here. It's looking for the ball. Looks like you saw it. There we are. And it's gonna grab it. Boom. <laughs> Nicely job, Luna. All right, the next thing we'll look at is called bullfighting. So it literally is what it sounds like. So he's got a little bull nose right there. Show him this. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Nice, you got it. <laughs> so that is bullfighting. 
And uh, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Hand slap game, so this is interesting. So let's start this game. Okay, so I place my hand in front of Luna. Ah, you got me. <laughs> All righty, let's try that again. Okay. <laughs> gotcha, buddy. <laughs> You got me. <laughs> All right. So it's an end game. So yeah, it's kind of fun that there's a lot of different games with it, which I have to say is actually really, really cool. There's actually a lot to do with this particular robot. Now, obviously you have the community aspect of it where you can download and kind of interact with other people and see what they're doing with their Luna. And it's absolutely great on what they, what people are coming up with. They're always giving updates with it. And I have to say they're doing a phenomenal job with it. Definitely one of my favorite robots, the Nonetheless, just because it's so interactive and has a lot of personality. It almost feels like it's alive all right well there you guys have it this year's luna definitely a great robot for the buck and with that said if you guys have any questions comment down below otherwise we'll see you guys next time take care now bye bye <laughs>